All right, next up, we're going to bring in the handle parts. So we're going to go to the insert, and we're going to select handle parts. And you should see them drop in, hit the check. And now we have our handle parts there. All right, we're going to bring this up just so we can see a little bit better. Get rid of the double tap. Always gets rid of the triad manipulator. All right. And one last one. Bring that guy up here so just so that we can see what's going on here. So first thing is we're going to connect the handle to... Um, I guess that threaded portion there. All right. So I'm going to rotate it around so I can see what I need to see using that triad manipulator. You don't have to do it that way. You can rotate the whole thing around for each one. It just becomes a little bit easier. So since I don't want the handle to move around at all, once it's attached to that uh, threaded portion there, uh, what we're going to do is a fasten. Fastens your glue, holds things in place, doesn't allow them to move. So I want to attach it to the back there and right the center. That's my first make connector. And you can put the make connectors on first too if you want to, um, but I'm just going to do it as I go, like before you select the make. All right, and notice they locked in that uh, that revolve again. I got to unlock that. I don't like that feature, but whatever. All right. Oh. And now look what happened. Okay, so this brings up an important thing that you can do. There's these arrows down here below the word offset on our fasten menu. That allows me to flip things around. Okay, so now that's flipped in the right direction. Let's look at it. Yep, that looks good. So let's go ahead and hit check. And it should be locked in. We can try to move it around. The whole thing moves, but they won't move separately. That's good news. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and do the constraint of the, what is this guy? I don't know. The end of the, uh, the handle assembly here. All right. And this one's kind of an interesting constraint. This one's going to be a ball joint constraint. And hopefully this goes correctly the first time. I remember when I did it last time, it was a little tricky. So... Have patience with yourself when you're doing this one. All right, so go to your mate menu or your constraints, and you're going to pick the ball mate. Okay. And you want to select that curved portion there right at the center. So hopefully I got that right. And again, it locked in my rotation, so I'm going to unlock that. And I'm going to select this end. And point there. Hopefully this worked. Yay, perfect. All right. I don't know why there's no constraints on the angles for the uh, how it's allowed to revolve on the ball constraint, uh, but there isn't. So that's all we can do there. Boom. All right. And our last constraint we need to lock in is basically putting that handle into the sliding a clamp at the end all right and since it's going to slide back and forth but it is a cylindrical object we're going to use I guess cylindrical mate here Just looking at what I used earlier and so oop, we're gonna rotate this around so I can see this side actually I wonder if I could just rotate this whole thing. There we go. All right. That allows me to see what I'm going to use better. So now I'm going to go ahead and select my mate. I'm going to do a cylindrical mate here this time. And let's see here. Get right there at the end. So you see that guy? That's the one I want. All right. And then the end of the slider clamp. Okay, it's going the opposite way I want it to go. Now, one thing to notice is when I put, first put in the mate, this is the first time I've moved something that has several parts to it here. Um, it only moved the part that I put the constraint on. You might freak out and go, oh, no, I, I messed it all up. Now, for some reason, it only moves the one part. I think it's just so you can see what's going on. Uh, if you want to see what the whole thing looks like together, see that solve button down there? If you hit solve, it puts them all together. Okay. 
And this time we're going to add in a limit because it's only going to slide three inches. I'm just going to take a wild guess at this and say that it should be zero to three. Hopefully I'm right this time. Hit check. It's always easy to go back and edit, so no need to freak out over that. And, oh, my arm's going the wrong way. It's not happening. Let's try moving the arm real quick first here. Sorry, of course it's not going to agree. Okay, the arm's moving correctly. Ah, yes, it is moving the wrong way. So, I'm not having any luck with those today. Oh, there's something wrong with my slider. We'll go back and look at that in a second. All right, so go back, and this should be zero, and this should be negative three. All right, boom. I don't know why that's coming off that way. I think it's because of whatever problem my uh, mate for that guy has, so. Uh, but if I move it by itself, it's good. Yeah. There it goes, it's kind of freaking out down here. Let's see what's going on with that. Mate is not consistent. I'll agree. All right. Not sure what's going on there. 